pimping being a huge component of the Memphis culture, um, but that also speaks to human trafficking. Welcome back. A Memphis born movie producer you just heard from debuting his film in his home city tonight, touching on a very important topic. The movie Meet the Snows is fictional, but it focuses on human trafficking in urban areas. I had a chance to speak with a human trafficking survivor in Memphis about her experience and why she's glad movies like this are raising awareness to a wide reaching problem. He had beaten me so bad that I was unrecognizable. He tried to drown me in a bathtub. Um, and when he got tired of trying to get me to drown, um, he took alcohol, he poured it all over me, and he was gonna set me on fire. But we couldn't find a lighter. That's all God. That's the type of terror Kelly also broke new. I became an easy target for traffickers because traffickers look for a person's um, vulnerabilities and they play on those vulnerabilities. For five years, I had three different pimps because um, as soon as I'd get away from one, I still wasn't healed. But also Brooke says her trauma started years before that. I grew up living in fear. I grew up believing that I was nothing and that I would never be anything because that is what my father told me every single day. That's why when her first pimp came around, he took care of me and my daughter. Um, he paid for my room. He wooed me. Um, you know, made it seem like it was a relationship. She didn't immediately see the danger. 99 times out of 100, victims don't realize that they're victims. I didn't know I was a victim. She says that's common. The victim may tell you, well, he's my boyfriend. Or there's that survival sex because look at our economy right now. And it's happening right now in our communities. It is a major problem here in Memphis. You got to remember, we've got I-40 and it goes everywhere. So this is like a hub. She says if people just pay attention to the people in their lives, they'll see the signs. If you notice that someone is, is changing, changing the way they're dressing, um, being more provocative. It's important to know what it's not. People say that um, people are kidnapped, snatched up off the street. That is rarely the case. To know what it is. Human trafficking is rape over and over and over and over again. A traumatic cycle also Brooke says will continue as long as greed exists. What drives that money is the demand. And that's what people don't want to talk about. They don't want to talk about the purchasers, the buyers, the Johns. Also, Brooke told me she would like to see stricter rules and punishments in place for the buyers. She also runs a nonprofit these days called Empower You, where she helps other young women, even works with law enforcement to help them know the signs of trafficking. Again, you can go see the movie Meet the Snows tonight. That's at 7. It's showing at Wolf Chase Cinema off of Germantown Parkway. We do have a link to where you can buy tickets on our website, abc24.com. That's up right now.